it's like, I think it's like 8 o'clock in the morning. Uh, haven't really been messing with the vet much lately, so uh, it's a lot warmer now in Colorado, and tracks is open every weekend and stuff, more street cars, a lot more car stuff going on, so I've been needing to do a little work on the vet, so we're going to get out Get the vet out today we're gonna go wash it clean it up on the inside i'm gonna try to take a little bit of weight out of this thing and go do some testing first i want to test and see if shifting it at 7500 rpms is going to give me uh any improvement in the eighth which i don't know that's all i've been testing is the eighth i haven't tested anything else besides the eighth so i'm gonna stick with that that's usually what everyone else around here races is eighth uh, if I can get it do it good in the eighth, I'm sure it'll do good in the quarter. So, but yeah, I'm gonna get the I'm gonna have to get the Jeep moved out of the way here. It's right in the other way. Yeah, we're gonna take this to the car wash real quick clean it up and bring it back home shine up a little bit um, look at taking the seats out I kind of want to go make some hits before I do that just to see if shifting higher helps because I was shifting right at 7 and now I'm shifting at 7500 and it still pulls super hard up there it may, it may take more I don't know in the garage got the car back um, I'm gonna throw some uh, spray wax on this guy I'm gonna check the oil and then <clears throat> I'm gonna go find my laptop charge the draggy all right I really don't know if my draggy's charged but I got all the camera stuff figured out I got me a permanent little mount right here and then the suction cup Got the suction cup on the windshield. The suction cup did not do good upside down. It would not get tight. So this is what I got getting tight. <coughs> I'm gonna put you guys on the mount and we're gonna go drive this thing around and see if I can get the tip in fueling back the way I had it. I don't think I saved the other file I had, but I'm gonna go work on it, save it. And then if the draggy's charged, we're gonna go do a pull. So, I hope you 
try it out. It looks a little shaky. I can't help that. I have extension on the uh, camera. Hope the audio is decent too. That'd be a plus. But I went over the file. I've got it kind of close, between two and three percent right now. On um, you know when you're doing a pull, I need to go drive around and uh, do some drivability tuning, but. Definitely feels better than it did before. Um, smoother that is. I did a lot of work on smoothing the table up, and the fueling's the same. I ain't changed the fueling any. Uh, it's still 12.5 um, during the pull on E85. I may lean it up a little bit and see if it does any differently. I doubt it does. But it might. Um, when I got this car, it ran 13.4 AFR wide open throttle. It ran 13.1 to 13.4, so. And it did great. That's how I ever tuned it before me. I, re I fattened it up just a little bit because that kind of scared me, not to go, not gonna lie. But I might try to. Uh, I might try to go there and see how this car does like that.
to check the air pressure in the tires. I feel like they was really high. Also, I needed to charge the draggy. This is one of my tire inflator or deflator things from uh, my Jeep. Pretty good way to let air out the tires. This right here unscrews the valve stem. You can push this up and check it. So I'm almost at 25. I'm gonna put, put it at 25 inside that. You can dial it in really really you know really tight like that and then you just take this and this screws the valve stem back in it and then you screw this off the actual outside threads of the stem where your cap would screw on and we just went from 30 to 25. i really want to put a hook my two-step up on this thing um i'm gonna look around for maybe like a button or I think I have a button somewhere that I was gonna use for purge. Oops. Um, wire the two-step up, and then we can use a two-step to help try to the two-step to help us get it off, get us off the line. Um, on the street, this thing just don't. It's I don't know. I know a lot of guys launch these on the streets, but this car is kind of finicky to launch on the street. I think it's the tire. I think it's the harder tire. I believe a bias ply tire would be a lot easier on this car, but we're gonna, I got these tires, they're on it, we're gonna use them, and I'm gonna take this thing to the track. Um, I don't know if this Friday night they're doing open drags to the track or not, like test and tune, but if they are, we're definitely gonna take it. I wanted to go last Friday night, but my trailer is literally full of trash, and I did not feel like emptying all the trash off of it, because I was gonna have to just handle it twice, and it's a lot. So I'm not gonna, hopefully I can get somebody to come pick the trash up. If not, I'm gonna haul the trash off. And we're gonna work on getting the two-step um, on this thing. Yeah, so I'm gonna try to uh, find all the stuff for the two-step. And on the next video I do, we'll do the two-step on this car and go test that and then we're gonna start throwing the nitrous to it. Uh, I'm not gonna turbo it just yet. Uh, I wanted to do it in steps. I wanted to get it. I wanted to be able to get to launch this thing and learn it and drive it on motor. And this thing feels like a tricycle to me on motor now. So time to add the power. So I'm gonna add 100 shot to it probably first. I got a full bottle. Nitrous kit's already on it. Yeah, I got the full bottle. All I gotta do is wire it and make a tune. Take some timing out. So if you uh, into the vet stuff, give me a subscribe, stick around. Um, definitely gonna do some more vet stuff now that I see people are interested in it. I really didn't think anybody would be interested in this old, uh, this old junky vet I got, but if uh, you guys are interested in it, I'm gonna do some more stuff. Um, yeah, man, hope y'all like it. I'm gonna get off here and uh, I'm gonna see y'all in the next one. Going in and out recessions the same way that I be going in and out of Texas.